three. Hi, I'm Cindy Mascon, Editor-in-Chief of Chemical Engineering Progress Magazine. I'm here at AICHE's 2010 annual meeting. I'm speaking with our institute lecturer, Julio Utino, Dean of Engineering and Applied Science and Professor of Chemical and Biological Engineering at Northwestern University. He will be giving the Institute lecture in just a few minutes, and it is entitled Chemical Engineering in a Complex World, Grand Challenges, Vast Opportunities. Professor Tino, your abstract for your talk mentions that you're going to speak about how basic work can expand into new domains. Can you expand on that a little bit and tell us what you'll talk about? Yeah, one of the things that I will try to explain is how disciplines grow. So disciplines grow because there is an agreement in between the field and the domain. The domain is everything that is stored knowledge, papers, books, whatever is on the web, products, and the domain are the people who inhabit the, the domain. These are the decision makers. These are the people who decide when something gets accepted. Now, in order for something to be accepted, it has to sort of be an extension of existing ideas. There is such a thing as being a little bit too early, premature. Mm -hmm. So a concept that I'll be talking about is called the adjacent possible. Okay. And I'll try to give examples, even going back to historical figures. Uh, so that will be one of the things. Growth of disciplines, how, how they can expand, and actually what opportunities there may be now for chemical engineering in the very near future. Okay, that's very exciting. Um, I'm listening, I'm looking forward to hearing that part of your talk. Um, can you, do you have any advice that you would give to young chemical engineers just starting out how to take advantage of some of these opportunities? Uh, actually, one of the, the things that I will stress and then stress more at the end, the, you have to do two things at the same time. You have to be deep, you have to go deep down, but you have to have a wide lens. You have mm -hmm. to have a broad focus. Because without that, there are ideas that may escape you. Mm -hmm. So the idea of being broad, I'm going to mention a couple of things in that regard. Okay. And even a probably very, very at the end, at the very, very end, a historical example of two people seeing the same thing, actually with their own eyes, one actually grasping the implications, and they are not able to. Okay. So those will be probably two of the main things. One is how disciplines grow, okay. the network of ideas. Obviously, I will say something about my own work as a springboard for this. And then the piece of advice actually probably will make a comment that uh, some of the things that I will say are directed to people just starting. Okay. And the idea of broadness, I think, is very, very important. Okay. All right, great. And is there one specific takeaway message from your talk that you hope we'll get? Well, also at the end, I think at the end, when you look at everything from the distance, there are two skills that you have to have. Some people are good in one, but it's the ability of seeing the complexity in the simplicity mm -hmm. and the simplicity in the complexity. Oh, and being able to go back and forth. My only sort of artsy example, I usually give talks that have a lot of art parallels, but my only art example will be connected with that. The ability of going from simple to complex and from complex to simple. Oh, very interesting. Great, thank you very much. No, thank you, my pleasure.